Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about sound fields. There's three sound fields in a room and people have a hard time understanding this. So I think hopefully this will help a little bit for, for more understanding. We have three sound fields in a room, right? We have floor to ceiling, front wall to rear wall, and then we have side wall to side wall, right? In, in all our rooms. So we have these three sound fields that we have to manage correctly. And guess what? They're all different dimensions. And we know from past videos that different dimensions produce different frequency and different amplitude, strength, issues. Frequency is where it lies on our hearing spectrum. So the floor, <coughs> we have sidewall, sidewall, floor to ceiling, and then we have front to rear. So we have all of these fields that we have to take into consideration and they're all different and i think this is what causes the complication and uh, the understanding of acoustics so floor to ceiling is the smallest dimension probably 95 percent of the time we see in in drum rooms and piano rooms uh sometimes the ceiling is the highest dimension or, or one of the higher numbers but most of the time, it's the lower of the, of the three. So let's take eight foot, standard ceiling height we work with in North America, big pain in the ass. I'm gonna be quite honest with you. So 70 Hertz is a standard problem there. How do you get that? Well, it's 130 divided by eight, right? Speed of sound divided by distance. You get three variables, 140, 70, and 35, because 70 is the, fun, 35 is the fundamental of 70, 75, 70 is kind of the fundamental of 140. So this is the biggest problem with the eight foot ceilings, 140 and of course 35 is a big problem. Most of the time we don't treat the 30, 35 hertz uh, region for people because they don't want to spend the money and cover the distances required. But 70 and 140 with eight foot are a must for treatment. You always have to assign the proper treatment to manage the frequency and amplitude of the issue. If you have a 140, 70, and a 35 issue, you want to get a product that starts at 35. Not too many out there. Ours does. So you have to assign the proper treatment <clears throat> to the frequency and amplitude of issue. Frequency is obviously where it lies on our audio spectrum, and strength is how much. Amplitude is strength, how big of it is. We've all seen frequency response curves with that big dip, you know, below 100. This peak, well, that's strength. And you can measure it. How many dB is it above baseline or flat? And that's going to tell you how much treatment that you're going to need. And that's a complicated uh calculation for reserve for another time but so the frequency and the amplitude to sorry frequency and amplitude determine the type amount and the positioning of it right because we have these three sound fields so if we have a 70 cycle problem floor to ceiling we want to make sure we treat either the floor or the ceiling with the proper treatment sometimes we have to go to the ceiling if the client wants to get down in the 35 cycle area for floor to ceiling, which some do, mastering rooms in particular, then we have to use our platforms because the lower you go in frequency issues, the heavier the technology to treat gets. So we've done it. We've suspended our carbon technology over the DAW and over listening positions, but at 140 pounds a piece, you want to be very careful with the installation methods that you use because <clears throat> one of these panels falls you're dead so you want to be really careful so that's where we have the platforms put them on the floor you know nothing's going to fall there you're going to sit on it so on average for low frequency management i don't care what sound field you're in it's about 50 percent coverage so if we got an eight foot wall you're going to need treatment it's going to cover at least 50 percent of that wall that's why our ACDA series and our carbon panels are five foot high because that exceeds the 50% on an eight foot ceiling, which is the ceiling height we work with a lot. So there's a reason for those units being 60 inches high. 
Mids and highs, same thing, about 50% coverage. That's what you got to have. These are general rules. You know, everybody's different, but these are general guidelines to help you understand. It's pressure and reflection balance. Pressure, low frequency, reflection, middle frequency, and high frequency. So we've got low frequency pressure, middle and high frequency issues that we have to balance, and that's the goal. And you have to get the right treatment, and you have to put it in the right sound field in order to get the good result. So three-room sound fields, floor to ceiling, sidewall, sidewall, front to rear wall. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.